We're here in Washington, D.C. today lobbying on behalf of Access Fund and the American Alpine Club. There are a few bills that we want to pass that we're bringing to Senate and Congress, which include the SOAR, Protecting the Antiquities Act, and also no red tape. Climb the Hill is a really unique advocacy event where Access Fund, American Alpine Club, other climbing organizations come together in Washington, D.C. We do meetings with Congress, senators, covering all regions of the U.S. And we're telling them about climbing, that we care about bills and public lands funding, and that we want them to appreciate the value of climbing in their home districts kind of run and gun day with a lot of meetings. Our first meeting is in the Rayburn office with uh, yeah. Red, Red Bar. Bar. The Red River Gorge honestly is like some of the best climbing in the world. Yeah, oh, it's I know. amazing. I know. We're very proud of it. We're, we're so grateful for the climbing community coming to uh, uh, Powell County and Wolf County. Um, you know, those communities need tourism. Yeah. They want tourism, they embrace it. Yeah. And they want more of it. The more that local community can interact with climbing, then the more people care about their resources at hand. Yeah. Like, if you go out and interact with nature, you care about nature and you care about protecting it. Absolutely. I was six when I started and it kind of transformed my life. Like, I think that sports in general do so much for youth development, yeah. but Climbing as well, it's such an individual and empowering pursuit yeah. that connects you to the outdoors too. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm biased, but I can't speak enough about how much climbing's helped. Now I'm on my way to meet Alex Honnold and Tommy Caldwell for the Schumer podcast. My wife and I, we take our kids every summer to the national parks and we've hiked in 22. The best hike we saw, this is not climbing, when there's a full moon, there's a five mile hike in Arches in um, Utah. Yeah. Yeah. It is one of the most amazing things you would ever experience. Mm -hmm. So I care about the outdoors, as I know you do. Yeah. And uh, yeah. thank you. I mean, you're great climbers, but you also want to see our planet preserved in every way, uh, both in terms of wilderness and in terms of global warming. So yeah. thank you for caring. Yeah. Yeah, as climbers, we have so many experiences like that where we get in these amazing, um, you know, public lands areas with full moons. You know, these very climbing is such this intimate relationship with nature that yeah, it sure is. I feel like that's one of the one of the things we can further with that is it makes us environmentalists, kind of like whether we want right. it or not. You know, last year we were able to set aside another million more acres of wilderness that oh, even wow. Trump yeah. couldn't touch. Yeah. <laughs> so we Hallelujah. did that, and yeah, uh, right. land and water <laughs> conservation funds, very important. Yeah. Yeah. And we're trying in every way, um, any kind of infrastructure we build has got to be green. Mm. Yeah. So lobbying is essentially coming de to DC and talking to the people that make the laws and and talking about the stuff you care about and trying to create influence. You just go around from one meeting to the next and you sit down for half an hour and you, you get to know the person and then you usually have a few pretty specific asks that you leave on the table. My first trip to DC we met almost completely with Congress and now it's senators and I think that's, and we're actually meeting with the senators where it used to be more staffers and I think that's just a testament to climbers coming back over and over again are starting to be noticed and um, the sport is growing and so they really want to hang out with us and they want to talk about the issues that we they care about. Yes. First of all, thank you guys all for being here. We do really appreciate it and to all of us who are active in the outdoors um, I think that climbing is the perfect gateway sport that encourages us to kindle this relationship with nature and to in turn care about it and that's what connects us all. I did have a really transformative turning point in my career which happened at the Red River Gorge in Kentucky and that was when I did the what was then the first 9A achieved by a North American woman and that was this route called Pure Imagination, which kind of catapulted my career and gave me a really, like a platform and a voice to speak about what I care about. And I started seeing that there were people who actually cared about what I was doing and they were listening to me. And so 
protecting public lands and being here and advocating for them was definitely an item that was high on my agenda. I'm going to talk to you guys actually today about Virginia and Kentucky and the border there um, because that is related to the development process that I see that climbing brings a lot of really otherwise rural areas this immense amount of development and revitalized infrastructure. When I first started going to the Red River Gorge, which is in Slade County, Kentucky, I was about eight years old. And at the time there was kind of like this, this small little shop called Miguel's and it provided like ice cream. And then as probably next couple years I went back, it was a small pizza restaurant. And now fast forward to 2019, Miguel's is not only just a pizza shop, it's also a gear shop, cabin rentals, it's a climber haven. I'll be in a climbing gym in Europe and I'll see someone wearing Miguel's climbing shop. And I'm thinking like, I wonder if that person knows just what the significance of that local economy or local population is. Um, and, and it was just, it's a really inspiring thing to see because you can really see the way that climbing has grown these local communities that Slade County used to be one of the most impoverished counties in Kentucky. And now you can look at it as one of the most affluent counties because of climbing and outdoor recreation. So hiking and rafting and New River Gorge especially. So this last spring I went with, actually Katie Hedrick is here, and, and we went to Brakes Interstate Park um, with Access Fund and our goal was to spread awareness about this area that has a lot of supposed rock and climbing to be developed. And we went there and we bolted for a month. And we tried to build some awareness around this new area. And we worked with the local community and the superintendent of the park. And what was really inspiring to see was that the superintendent, he is funding climbers to actually come and bolt. And just that participation of the local economy and local businesses looking to climbing as the source of ecotourism is really inspiring to me about our sport and about our community and what we as climbers can give back. From my perspective, if we can encourage new jobs and help local economies through climbing, I think that that's like the perfect win-win situation. I am here on Capitol Hill. I'm somewhere in the Senate, I think. The first time I came to climb the hill, I didn't really know what lobbying was, and I've always grown up thinking that lobbying is kind of a dirty word, because like lobbyists are evil. But as it turns out, lobbying basically just means a use group advocating for the thing that they care about, and they go and they talk to their elected representatives about it and tell them that they care. Basically just to remind their elected officials that, that what they do matters. It's funny because I feel like in the modern age, we, we could be more connected than ever, and yet in some ways we feel more disconnected from politics, even though really we should be more connected because it's easier than ever to figure out what your representative is doing and where to meet them. And so realistically, we should just go meet them more often and chat with them. People internationally travel to the U.S. to experience our wildlife and our national parks, and more than ever, it's really important for us to protect these public lands. Thank you.